welcome back once again everybody we are continuing on with the pinacone quest part one is up on the channel if you missed that but this will be the finale we're gonna play through everything that is remaining so far so good this place it seems happy <laughs> but i know that probably won't last sampo Lika. he's not a tool to be used he's a respectable man you're back <sighs> are you all right she was really worried she seems like the embodiment of wholesome it was quite fun though i see Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Look at his little smug face, bro. <laughs> he knew what he was doing when he got me to touch that TV. Look at that. You did great. This is the <laughs> proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. Now that we've got everything we what? need, oh, those we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> you're about to experience the real fun keep in mind this is the adult entertainment whatever that means bro is busting it down damn even granny gotta get this on the phone <laughs> i don't think she knows she's not recording i don't have the heart to tell her this road are we heading back to the ot mall that's Pay right the stress. Miss firefly <gasps> that is where the good stuff is welcome to dreamscape sales store dr edward at your service. Mm -hmm. The trailblazer of the Astral Express. Here we are again. Uh -huh. I see you've got two friends with you. I want to poke the eye. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? Be my guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? Dr. Edward kind of fine. Yeah, ain't nothing more I love in a man than an eyeball. A superb idea, sir. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect. What's with that? Happen? Um, what's going on? Well, this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently <laughs> had to me. With relevant emotion programs, <laughs> I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Any dream we want? Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You probably Ooh. woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Yeah, it's before the subathon. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly! I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. Okay. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. Oh, we got everything. It takes this much to replicate one of the dreams? Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval is complete. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. Here we go. Dream bubble. It's ready. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Monka. It's just gonna be black swan everywhere in my dreams. Ugh, where's this? Wait, is this Bellabog? Am I in Natasha's Is this infirmary? the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? This is my dream for real. It always has to do with our women. How'd I end up here? This is part of my dreamscape. Bellabog is the setting for this dream. This is St. Poe's. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream. Why does his voice Within bounce like that? It's trippy. I don't like that. If that's all dream sound, I don't want to ever dream again. What the fuck? Can I jump out this window? Is this another note? Come the garbage can. <laughs> now I know what's about to happen. It all feels so familiar. Oh, that's the thing about dreams. I hate it. Anything can I hate feel it. familiar. Stop nitpicking the details. Uh. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you say. How do they even create this effect? Don't you think this part of the quest is garbage? I'm staring at you intently. Huh? <laughs> they even fucked up the audio track? What? What is happening? 
Why are there trash cans everywhere? <laughs> Bro, I gotta say it, those feet are crazy. <laughs> Mr. Gupta, yeah! Shantana, Natasha. The fuck is happening? <laughs> This is a bunch of yapping, bro. <laughs> this is like the, the, the adults in Charlie Brown, bro. As a result, we can no longer communicate with another using trash bags. <laughs> heart. So take the trash out, take the heart out. Really saying you want me to rally together? I think that's what she means. <laughs> this one's knocked out in the back. What deal? What deal? Help the trash cans with their troubles and collect the proofs of trust. Okay. But why does the trash can kind of look fine, though? It's gonna be a whole, like, deciphered language coming out soon at some point. Yeah. Can we get a translation book for this? A sabe do a yase vedo. No! No, they got another. <gasps> they massacred my boy. His bottoms are looking dirty. <laughs> Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> I'll be Such the ultimate trash to stand up. Scene. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen in Star Rail. Didn't they say the Garbage King would wait for me here? Uh, have I been set up? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Big ass sample. Dog, am I high? Who wrote this? <laughs> He's massacring them all. <laughs> no, this is fucked up. No, I want to see the fight play out. Why'd you stop it? What? A I'm bummer. the Garbage King now. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. Bro, same. Why'd you cut it off? So he's the Garbage King. I'm the one to stand against. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. Yeah, why'd you pull me out of that one? I was looking forward to seeing your face. When the truth dawned on you. What, what, are you, what are you saying? Like, what are you saying? Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. I actually don't know what he's leading to. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacone? What? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. Hmm. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. 
I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. He's trying to help me in some weird tempo way. Glowing light. What are you up to, bro? Seems like you really do have no clue. Turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? Firefly. She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? Actually, to this point, not at all. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. Sempo's cameo here felt so what random. What did Sempo but... mean? Is Firefly hiding something? Maybe Gallagher was really supposed to get her. She was the stowaway. I must away. find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Mm. She did run away without me noticing. I guess I'm not very observant. I'd rather believe Sa Firefly than Sampo. What I'm saying? Sampo don't even know what March 7 looks like. And we're like, yeah, we're going to trust her. <laughs> hey, what was all that about? <laughs> the girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. F for what? I want to know the truth. Is that too much to ask? Sure. There are things <laughs> I'm hiding from you. And the Trash King dream made you admit that. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. <laughs> but still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. Sounds like you want to be a part of something like that. Yeah, I really do like this life. Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It, it's my very own secret base. She's bringing me home? And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Sure. <laughs> I believe you. That's all it took to convince Thanks. me. That's all it took. I'm a simple guy. She says, come to my base. I say, I'm there. Huh? Is something... Crying for help? Talk! Help! Help me! Wasn't I told to avoid this? Someone's dying! Please, come here! What? Didn't I make myself clear? Someone is dying! Do Please people help! die in dreams? Wait! Can you see me? <laughs> uh, is there a problem? I was advised not to do anything if this happened, I think. I can see a clock with limbs. Can you really see me? I can, Mickey. Wonderful. This is awesome. There's still hope for Misha. Misha? Oops, uh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Panacarni. My friends and I keep the peace in this This is just Mickey. Town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight. I was told not to talk to you. Misha. Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Somebody kidnapped Misha, bro! <laughs> How can I help? Uh, Clocky? T do you mean <laughs> you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? I know I sound crazy, but I swear to God, he's in front of me. He's freaking out. Misha's gonna die. We have to go help. Come on. I swear um, to God. <laughs> where is he? You're not seeing the vision. I, I can't see him. Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here, clad in gray. Firefly is not innocent. She looks like the most she looks like the most innocent girl of all time. Um <laughs> But I think you look older than me in terms of appearance. She just seems very regular and normal. Tick tock! Tick tock! She just seems extremely My normal friend, and sweet. Since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. Nothing about her screams break the rules to me. Okay, he's begging for my help. Huh. Well, are you gonna help this, um, 
clocky that only you can see? I yeah. don't think you're lying. As anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Soundtrack's pretty good. TikTok, hurry up and follow me, great friend. Misha's in trouble. He's over there. Let me bring you to him. The this name guy of Misha Mickey rings Moon. a bell to me. Uh, anyway, better check out what's going on. It's come the Mickey on, Mouse Chacha! Clubhouse. Oh, come on. Let's go. Run as fast. I Fuck. There's a crowd over there. <laughs> Looks like some. Acheron. <laughs> uh, everyone. Uh oh. Please stay calm. Oh shit, you Misha. The rules. And now, you're gonna have to pay the price. Punish it, boss. Punish it, boss. Why is this sub so big? How did it come to this? <sighs> Keep yourself together. Do you know her? Are you jealous? See? I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. <laughs> TikTok, I'm begging you, TikTok. my boyfriend. Begging you. Please help Misha. Okay, what is going on first here? My baseball can't wait to show its might. Like baseball bat. Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Hmm. I'm really curious too. I love how she just goes along with tick -tock, it. Tick tock, tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Boss. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. Stone equal bad. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. Oh, what is this high experience? I'm never doing drugs if it's like this. Of I can't just sit back Among other reasons. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back positive. into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. Does he have like a Minnie Mouse equivalent? We need to find him a lover, bro. He's stressed out. My great friend. I require your assistance. assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. Okay, what is clockwork? Bro, you're saying a bunch of words. Here, I'll show you. First, close your eyes. Okay. Tick tock. Now, our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? Clocky's in my body. All we have to do is use clockwork. Give me some superpowers, bro. And inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. So, Clocky, you're suggesting that we drug people against their will. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all. Tick tock. Right. Duck, I need you to see the emote that Nova linked. Mind your own business. Mind your own business, man. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. Oh, has the smallest dick, and you can tell. Oh, here comes the clockwork. Use the clockwork to tune a person's emotional state. I can just fuck with your emotions? Wait, I want to make him sad. Happy. Angry. Sad. <laughs> Boss, why are you crying all of a sudden like a bitch? Oh, goodness. Did you make him cry? I might have used the wrong one. I saw a dial and I got it moving. I mean, I have no clue what I did. You sure I pulled that it off? Must have been. Otherwise, why would he be in tears all of a sudden? <laughs> What's wrong with the boss? What's wrong with the boss? Oh, he's crying so hard. <laughs> Even I, the guardian of Dreamville, am nearly moved to tears. This is beautiful. What's wrong, sweetie? Are you feeling down? 
Bro, quit the waterworks. You're a big boy now. Oh, dear me. I ain't a big bad meanie for making you sob like a cry baby. Jesus, the three different approaches here. Stop being such a bitch. It isn't your fault. I just suddenly, suddenly thought about my mother on my, my home planet. What do we do now? Do we do now? Whoa, oh, God. Things are turning into a mess. But then again, maybe now is a good chance to ask them to leave. Why he's emotionally vulnerable. Why don't you just go and go home, bro? Go get some alone time somewhere. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Gang, you're dismissed. I need to be, I need to be alone for a while. Is that easy? Yes, yes boss. Yes, boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Yeah, I manipulated him. What's new? Misha. Are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? Oh my god, the emotes in chat now. He's an esteemed guest who I befriended recently. I told you about him before. So y'all can see him. Can Firefly still not? Oh, it's him! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have died. been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. It's like you're following me or you love me or something. <laughs> About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Explain that. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady your friend too? We're more than friends. <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before, but he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. That sounds so vague. You, when you say it like that, that could mean anything. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Be beautiful lady? She actually, she's never been complimented before. By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. Manipulated him, like how you manipulate me into doing anything you want. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? Clocky taught me some clockwork. <laughs> Talk therapy. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Uh, it wasn't talk therapy. It was clockwork. I don't think it's that simple. Could it have something to do with that uh, clocky that only you can see? Well, they can see it too. Clocky? You can't? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality. I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how huh. a cartoon character could show up around here. But according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. She seems like the most regular, child, like sweet person ever. How is she not seeing him? <sighs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. <laughs> she a MILF. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can she you done see some shit, too? I can tell. I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you but it's a shame that i can't communicate with him like you can we can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream probably due to our ability to react to memoria but you're more attuned to it than i am i thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind you have a cellar on me now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream the memo keeper Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation. It's time. I won't bore you with the details. No, please. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? Black Swan. <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that clocky you saw? <laughs> For some reason, I like hearing Acheron say the word clocky. That clocky? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagined. She sounds very motherly. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream and I shall not interrupt your... No. ...date? Well, no, I mean, Firefly, what are we? No, no, We're no, 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 I just want to go. 
she instigating? Done. I'll let you get back to your beeswax. <laughs> Thanks, my great friend. Your beeswax. I really appreciate your help. The nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our Goodbye. paths cross again. Tick tock. Tick tock. Please come that with me. That was a cool little interaction. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Oh, he's on the express now. Now you can use clockwork to change someone's emotions. That is going to be so hilarious. I'm going to manipulate everybody. Here we are. This is the place. Looks mighty fine. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Uh, <laughs> what a beautiful manhole cover. Yes, it's right inside. Your base is in a manhole? Do you want me to crawl in the manhole? Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so uh -huh. you'll have to stay close to me. Okay. <laughs> this is even below me. And my sand is sparkle. Sparkle! Hey, let me ask you something. Are you talking to the trailblazer or me as the player? Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. Yeah, I mean, like you blame me. To be more precise, it's oh, been yeah, 45 not me. minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Doesn't <laughs> He's talking to, to me, the player. <sighs> Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. He would so be in honey. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours. I don't know. Hers look pretty no good. But there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, <laughs> thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. Damn, bro. She's so like. I'll pass. The stern. gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. <laughs> Dreamville is frivolous, vain, my vibe. and flashy, and that suits me just fine. Bro is so zesty. <laughs> also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. He's so zesty. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics. She probably has no friends with that kind of attitude. Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted Damn. the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. What kind of climax is this leading to? You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. <laughs> How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? She's indicating dick. She said, did you get down on your knees and suck his penis? She slapped him in the face with that one. Holy shit. Friends. Oh, please. <laughs> you guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. Can't get over that sparkle comment. That was crazy. That was a crazy line for them to throw in there. But the smarter you guys get how crazy ones that wouldn't is? have joined the game in the first place. That's insane. See? I'm smarter. All right. Listen, little peacock. You've been Everybody invited by that. the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Uh -huh. Here's a hint for you. Well, Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> I like how sassy she is. So long. I fuck with the attitude. 
She's like girl boss. Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. I like his responses back too. <sighs> She's cold, yeah. He's like, ugh. What, what a, a pain in the neck. <laughs> I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Manga, he's going to the opera house. Is this the exit, bro? We climbed through this to go to Golden Hour. Look, this place is breathtaking, isn't it? It's a bunch of buildings. Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry, <laughs> this place isn't dangerous. Just um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. Huh. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. Okay, this does look pretty nice. I feel like the uh, opera no house over there looks beautiful. The <laughs> hey, excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Bang, shoots in head. Drat, we're caught right away. Uh, could you just let me through this time only? Could you uh, please make an exception? <laughs> We're not gonna cause any trouble. Can't go in here. Me, please. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. Pretty please? I mean, we know Gallagher. Here's some credits for you. Gallagher. Who? <laughs> Never heard of Fuck. him. I wouldn't let you in even if the Dream Master were here. Shit. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. He hit him with the who? Seems like you won't give in. Mm, let me think of another way. <laughs> Perhaps Clocky's Clocky oh, power yeah. trick oh. can <laughs> come in handy. Uh, this doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Is it back up? None of your tricks are going to work. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. The composed man before you appear is impenetrable. Perhaps you need to provoke him. Try reading his inner thoughts. Calm, sad, happy, angry. I feel like angry is the wrong decision, so I'm gonna do it. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. I, so, sorry. Ugh. Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're gonna regret it. Come on, let's fight. Ugh, you're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I fight him. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and <laughs> energetic. You idle away your time every day, uh, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. That was actually the right answer? Wait, really? Let me help you spoil <laughs> brats learn the hard way. Go, Sweet Dreams Troop! Teach them a lesson! Oh, here we go. Fighting this guy. I see through you. I see through you. Converge and awaken! Let's be friends! I thought that was gonna be the meme answer. Awaken, Wait, no way that's the real Lord answer. Cleansing dragon. Hey, what are these emos that you guys are putting into chat? Let me refresh. Look at this shit. Me and y'all is crazy. And just like that, you busted. Battle over. Uh -huh, darn it! I can't believe I've lost! Uh, is this... Is this the power of youth? <laughs> it's the power of youth, Lee. If, if I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? Uh. <sighs> All right. I... You can go in. As the winner, yeah. You deserve it. Wait, I kind of feel bad now. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Yo, what happened Never between imagined him and me? that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> Path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the dreamer's tools. Activate dream's eye. What happens next is going to blow your mind. Oh yeah, we saw this in the the trailer for it. It reminds me of that one game that got really big the last year, where you would take a photo of something and connect it to something else. Different points in space are linked together. Like it all is this illusion connection. Now we can go connection. to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the. You find her, yeah. Fascinating, isn't it? Look, <gasps> that's the Penaconi Grand Theater over there. Whoa. Grand Theater. Don't mind if I do. It radiates dazzling light perpetually. 
Just like this glamorous dream. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. My countless fireflies chasing the fire. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. This is very pretty, man. Here we are. This is the place. Finally. This date has gone so well so far. She's made me fight a bunch of inanimate Someone's objects. Singing? But where is the sound coming from? Eepers? <laughs> this is beautiful. This is, really is a day, isn't it? Have you heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. Oh. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people, and the dreams. Without being disturbed by anyone. How beautiful. <laughs> Time is frozen at this golden hour. Look at all those Genshin wishes. <laughs> golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern, and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. The Wandering Ranger and the IPC Ambassador. The Astral Express Nameless. And me. This really is a date. Everyone falls asleep here equally. This is beautiful. Regardless of our different agendas. What do you mean by that? What is your agenda? I'm sorry. I really am still away. That was not a shocker. <laughs> Never saw that going. I know. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. It was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penaconi locals. Our home is destroyed. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't. They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penaconi, but. Some have dreams that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. To escape. And it's likewise for me. Wow. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. Bro, why does this make me love this character so, so quickly? I want to give it a shot here. What's your wish? Entropy loss syndrome. Huh? Have you heard of this term? ELS? It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away, and the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still Fading run, away. jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower. She's fading and away. Others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. Damn, man. 
so how can I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. Hmm. I can forget about all the That's so about. sad. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand That's whatever she's I want away, yeah. with my body. So although this world is real, this experience is priceless. Bro, I love you. You're so sweet. I feel so bad now. Just like this moment. He's so sweet. So she's in her dreamscape place right now in her hotel room. I'm sorry. Not able to do these things in the dream. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. What do you want me to say? I hope so too. I love this character. Mm -hmm. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth. Ah. Uh. And a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me I still remember the question on the invitation letter why does life slumber you see everything is possible in this land of dreams the nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water. And the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to Damn. wake up from the dream. Damn. I'm sorry. That was Things are crazy lies from her. Serious. Yeah. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. Nobody says anything. Firefly drops the hardest scene of the entire game. I mean, the hardest dialogue. Don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Well, shit, man. I mean, I'm gonna help you take that watch thing. I'm gonna help you do that pump comp will cool us down for the water from a spray can. <laughs> yeah, very, very good VA job. He would come and make coffee for us. Donna would tell us dry jokes with a deadpan expression. March would force us to take a selfie with her? Probably. That's probably the most likely. Probably the Himiko one. Coffee? Well, <laughs> we can't really make that here. Aren't there other crew members we can take inspiration from? The pom pom. Spray can? <laughs> That's rough. Perhaps there's something else we can do? Do you want me to tell you a deadpan joke? Jokes. <laughs> um, I, I don't really have a good sense of humor. Perhaps we can think of another way? Uh, Marsh would take a selfie, probably. Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. Oh, let's take a picture. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by We're myself. We're doing it together. Would you like to join me? Yeah, Let's man. Let's commemorate this moment. Why is there an option for I don't think so? Who in the right mind would ever say that? I can feel yes. a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. This is like a great relationship they have together. I like the vibes that are being built. Take the phone, launch the camera app, and switching to the front-facing camera effortlessly. Then extending your arm, you hold the phone at distance, ensuring both of you are captured in the Wait, frame. let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. One, two, three. Say cheese. Cheese. Yeah. That is so sweet, bro. 
That is so wholesome. Damn, that is a wallpaper. This was definitely a date. Something feels off. It doesn't feel very real. It feels odd. I can't describe it. Not right now, Mark. I'm on a date. I also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. It's best we meet face to face. I'm gonna go back to her room. I mean, shit. Do you have to go back already? Yeah. <laughs> Time really flies. She doesn't want me to leave. I feel like going Doctor back Ratio, to reality yeah. and resting too. Aether catching trace. Come on, let's say goodbye, Golden Hour. Damn, what a good day that was. Guys, where is everybody? This is so eerie. What the fuck, Sampo doing over there alone? Sampo, did you kill everybody while I was gone? Sampo, is that guy up to no good again? Doctor Ratio. We meet again, my dear. Hey, shampoo. He looks devious. It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? This is the love of my life. You're just so blind. Maybe she manipulated me. Wait, did she fuck Careful. me up? Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Am I getting manipulated? Oh no, I'm getting manipulated. Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? Yeah, we took a selfie together, bro. We're basically married. You talk too much. <laughs> oh, I love your attitude, my dear. Drama. I have to admit you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? And as for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world, I That's wonder true. how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh, well, it was my problem for trusting him. Oh. Yeah, we did kind of lie about what happened all together. Like the whole thing. I'm really, really disappointed in you. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> Senpo, what are you cooking here? Um, excuse me. Bro, let's turn to the what dark side. For a little while. Oh, it's her! Inside the real dreamscape. She took his body over her. <laughs> oh. Dude, Sparkle's a crazy bitch. Yo, Firefly, you gonna stop her? You gonna like fight fight for me? No? Okay, cool. Uh, this what is this place? Please don't tell me they're working together. I'm back at the hotel? No. This feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Am I high again? New message in the dream. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. I can text you somehow, but I'm in trouble. Right. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, I can't get in touch with it. Hey, Mako. Okay. Talking of the clocks. Mikhail? Firefly. So you're really here too? Don't tell me we're dead. I don't know. She seems innocent. In any case, we must still be in a dream. It can't be anywhere else, much less reality. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. But this is very different from the sweet dream that I'm familiar with. It's suffocating. Silent. Silent, uneasy, and these floating words, can you see them too? This kind of place would never exist on Pentaconi under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? Sparkle's fucking with it. No, that's not right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said, the real dreamscape. He's not my friend. <laughs> I should have been wary of him sooner. Sorry. Sooner square, he's not my friend. Regardless, the family must be hiding something. Something about the truth of the dreamscape. And you probably noticed it when you woke up as well. The ticking of clocks all around us. 
My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious Watchmaker. If it points us towards the Watchmaker's legacy, it will be connected to everyone who has mellowed to Penacony Stream. Let's go. We have to move. Be it to find an exit or the truth. Okay, so she seems innocent enough. She's stronger than she's letting off in this stream. Puzzle one. Peace. Two. <laughs> That's the cool. The wall has vanished. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like we're reaching the end, right? Why don't you guys want any... Hello? Wait. Did it, does it mean it's just get really quiet out of nowhere? It's got really quiet. Uh. Uh, just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. There goes an alarm. What's going on? The lights have all turned on. So creepy. But since there are so many doors here, we should be able to leave through one of them. Which one's right? Let's see here. Imagine there's like a jump scare behind one of these doors. This is the one for sure. See, I was right. Boom. I was right. Fuck. What the fuck was that? The exact same room? Help. Help me. Help me. Help. I'm coming, buddy. Don't worry. It got it actually is really bright. It's getting very ominous. <laughs> the TVs are so bright. It's hurting my eyes. Careful. Something's up. Shit, that was so bright. It's like opening Genshin Impact. You go baseball out. What in the Pokemon New Gen Legendary is that? What is this monster? That is a legendary New Gen Pokemon right there. Okay. Awaken This is chaos. boss battle. I can tell it's boss battle because they slow you down. Read the enemy's name. Oh, it has the word meme in it, actually. We'll Heaven fight the meme real quick. A thousand wonders to fight Yo, boys, are we farming the meme today? Seems a meme for real. Break. All right, that's one out done. One half done. Script of that? Shit. Save her, bro. Oh, we know who's here! Shit! <laughs> Mommy came to save the day. If you don't know oh, the right God technique, damn. you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. <laughs> That's a fully grown woman right there. <laughs> okay, that was hype as hell. That was so cool. Easy girl, I'm on your side. Our you Black Swan will assist allies in battle. Keeper. Black Swan. The memo keeper. Good night, little buddy. Quick. First try. See you next time. Wow. Time. Hurry. <laughs> Holy shit. W boss fight. You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. I love you. I mean, hello. Oh yeah, where's Farrah Firefly? Is she okay? Where's Did Firefly? Of me? Are we in heaven? <laughs> Welcome to reality. God More specifically, damn. the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. That's my favorite character design. So you're the Garden of Recollections Memo Keeper. Firefly, did she make it out? Where is she at? <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring your safety, even at the brink of death. Started to tug a little at my heartstrings, even. I know you've many questions, so please compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. 
Whew. She's literally Kafka with less clothes and that's what I like about her. You know what? How about we go ahead and pull her? Just because I'm gonna... What have I become? I did a small one. I did a small one. Let's go. We're gonna win this. We're gonna, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Can't look. I can't look. Guys, if I look, please tell me it's a black swan. Please tell me I open my eyes. It's a black swan. What? Yes. Oh, I love gambling. Look, Miss Himiko. I brought the kid back as oh. promised. <clears throat> the grown man, by the way. You're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. Kafka you took me about a hundred bucks, yeah. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, Memo Keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Mamo Keeper. Uh, to not your exactly. Miss Himeko said that they were investigating the incidents admit, yeah. happening in the dreamscape. But thanks to you, I don't really we might be baby. able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. So how did you end up there? I don't have a while to watch out. What the heck happened? Elaborate with your experience. So, the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, mm. adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course. I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying. But the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify liar, with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations. But that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. Penacony itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. Like creatures like that. And the memory zone he fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. Mm. <sighs> She's right. Everyone... Do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Clocks. Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Uh, it was a room. And then through a mirror, I came to a long hallway. The gallery of thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penaconi's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap mm -hmm. is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. Mm. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what he just experienced, and the answer is clear. Something sus. Penacone's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form and falling into the deep sea. The memory zone. <laughs> You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Hmm. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that he encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme. Why is she looking at me like that? Also, <laughs> memory zone meme. How could a meme that heralds death <laughs> and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? 
Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? God, what a seductive face. Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion. For what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the remembrance. Hmm. Apart from my duty, Bowl. I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand. As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where Bruh. nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. Her smile is so warm and draws you in. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among Lisa's ourselves. Lisa's twin? I see that. Naturally. Take your time. But well, let's close. <laughs> How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. Mm -hmm. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes. Then it likely has something to do with the watchmaker's invite. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well, uh, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the, the family guys. has been forced to seek outside Duke Inferno. surreptitiously for self-preservation. Duke Inferno is fucking with us. I already know but it. But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Duke maybe Inferno. Even the same person. Trust. Or maybe Sunday. Maybe, who knows? Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. <laughs> it's just a possibility. But if Deep this rest. encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, mm. let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry, it's bad news. Oh, yeah, he mentioned he wanted to tell us in person. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Penacone. I've reached Sam. out to the Bloodhound family Sam. for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Sam's Open gonna be a homie though. Take a look. Sam gives me homie vibes for some reason. Can you hear me? Oh god. Astral Express, it's been a while. How's Pentagon? Silver Wolf. It's it's that hacker girl. <laughs> I thought she doesn't even remember her name. I'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Penaconi. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about this so-called beautiful dream. I love this chibi in the corner. Her with a gun. They just gave little chibi silver with a gun. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've nabbed some valuable information and out of the goodness of my heart, uh -huh. decided to share it with So all sweet. Of you. Although it 
unfortunately means your idyllic break in paradise is nearing its end. Fuck. Enter this string of code into your dream pool. The device you use to dream with. And dive into the hidden map for a look. The coordinates have been sent to you. You just have to copy them over. Also, I take it you've already seen so... <laughs> You should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. With the fight, with the fight, Sam. I think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed by his enthusiasm. But I don't want to fight Sam. I want to be homies with Sam. Oh, he had me relay a message to you. <clears throat> the curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. <sighs> the various fashions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind. I love how it says question mark the whole time, like we don't know who this is. Those stellar be anybody. They even factored Penaconi into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. Mm -hmm. The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the watchmaker's legacy. Every party Everybody has its own motives, this. and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no so it is a person. for error. But like this a individual is mecha person. every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. This message Monka. is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a visit seems necessary. It could be a trap. What if we get found out? Should we inform the family? We may be on amicable terms, but that doesn't mean true, they trust true. us. Let's act first no, and talk why. later. Dismiss. I don't want to go away. If the family asks, He's a Gundam. just tell yeah. them that the Express is investigating uh, the Stellar that, Hunters. That, that. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Gulp. Mother Swan, I have good news. Miss Black Swan. Hi, Clara. The Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in All the right. real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I stay will mind. also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust. Even if I personally smart. did rescue your friends. It's no problem, of course. It's no problem. Other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. Counting on you, Welt. As for us... Her feelings? Let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll Mongo. be busy for a while. <laughs> I wonder if Firefly has returned to reality yet. Let's ask her how she feels. Hmm, Where's Firefly? I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. Yo, girl, can I get your number? It's crazy. We took a selfie together before I got a number. You look anxious. Worried about that girl? It's not any girl. It's one of my girls. You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Mm hmm. Can you confirm Firefly is safe? Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream. She probably would which be. Which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. Ah, I want to spoil the story. I will ban you, unban you, throw you into three more chats from here. I'll take you and toss you into three other chats. Ban you in every one of them that you land in as you fly through the windows of the screen. I'll make sure that they ban you. Teach their grandmothers how to use Twitch so that their grandmothers can ban you. Anyways, you're not returning to your room? <laughs> no. I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. You just can jump without these? 
I don't really trust Memo Keepers. It appears you've had some unhappy memories. True. But it's obvious that this partnership makes the most sense to you, me, and the Express crew, no? You're beautiful. So, so you can take it easy and trust me. Of course, I'm not the only Memo Keeper who has come. Penacone has opened its doors to factions beyond the family for the first time. And the garden must record this historic moment. So you can try working together with others as well. As long as you can see them. Thanks for saving me. I just did what I had to do. You are special, after all. Yeah, I know. So special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. Oh. All right. Drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. Dude, what a voice. All right, go to Welcome bed. Welcome to Penacone, honored guest. Lie down in the dream pool. Back in this familiar It's the sound of a whale, by the way. This way, darling. Yes, love. She's talking to me. She's talking to me. She's talking to me. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I feel fine. <laughs> That's good then. I know you're more sensitive to Memoria, <laughs> thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as what? your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. <gasps> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Uh -huh. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Yep. Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. We just rush. Be quick with it, brothers. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. Remember to tell you that March 7th's room is right here. Unless fate intervenes, she will awaken. Guys, is March dead? March. I know what you're thinking. But, alas, that girl isn't in there, and neither is this her room. Huh? The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Knock on every door? Like, <laughs> bang, bang, bang. These poor oh, little things sleeping. stumbling about. Strange. There Good appears boy. to be someone else's presence here. What? Uh, her. How is this possible? Akron again? Are there she should be walking in dreams. No staff members here at all? She seems confused. Huh? What are you doing here? You lost your way again. You know each other. Yes. She's the memo keeper I mentioned. Mm. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? <laughs> I'm indebted to you both for your help. Oh, shit. Can we get a trial? No trial? Where are my trials? Black Swan assistance is all I need, though. That was easy. It took no time. <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. <laughs> what are Her the two of you doing here? Lines is so funny. We could ask you the same thing. <laughs> Panacone is rife with rumors red. Now about the watchmaker, Why is it red? The legacy, nightmares, and what does other it mean? mysterious tales. I was curious as to who was spreading them and tested the method as described in the rumors. To think I actually ended up here. You aren't hiding I don't know anything, what it means. are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. I am. <laughs> is that so? You're good then. What sort of training did you have to undergo? Oh. Can you teach me? Yeah, yeah, I can. He's kidding. He can't do it. Your arrival is timely. <laughs> the dreamscape is fraught with danger. She does he so Since well. Our destination is the same. God, how she knows about me we so well. Forces? I can sure. protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And. If we run into the family, it okay. wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? We can trust Acheron. Thank you. Surely. I'm truly grateful. 
with her strawberry flavored text. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Blackswan. Again. Hmm. I truly hope so. Some tension here. <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. You see the memory keeper close her eyes. She's searching in the room in an almost telepathic way. Even every nook and cranny outside this the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method. So you two, please give me a little time. Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape. And there are members of the family and some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, huh? two, three. Firefly, that's her. Wait, three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait. Firefly. It's the girl who was with you. Firefly, what's she doing here? Says she already returned to reality, though. It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... Is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. Oh, she's in danger. This danger. is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. Is it Sam? Sam chasing her down? There's no time. I'll just have to I'm break coming. the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. I can just collect these, right? Okay. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. I caught some very familiar memories just now. She's not the only old friend. Hurry, through here. Wonka, she's not the only old friend. I hate that the dialogue cuts off sometimes. What was she saying? Run, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. The gate shuts. Your thoughts stirred by the swirling current and pulled along. Descend into the deep abyss, sinking. When the hatch opens again, what sights will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide an answer. An indescribable fluid darkness flows from your chest to your throat. <sighs> Suffocation engulfs you from within. Then a voice emerges. In my dream, I saw scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and whispered to me, why? Do people choose to sleep? I think the final sigh escapes. The origin unknown. It's because they're afraid to awaken from the dream. That's what she is. Afraid to go Watch back out. to her life. A dangerous presence lurks nearby. Everyone, be on your guard. It's the bird, isn't it? <laughs> bye bye. <sighs> okay we are friends <laughs> look at the <laughs> smile first love interest in the game oh shit <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> sorry in a dream though that's <laughs> she just turned into goo she was just made into goo what the f just what the f you you all right don't say she got baja blasted what the f that was such a jump scare but She's not actually dead though, right? This is just a dream. It's a dream. She's still okay in her dream pool. Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right? What do you mean calm breaths? She just got turned into to goo. Slime. Allow me. 
Relax. I'm fine. You'll be fine. Oh, thank God she said that. I'm fine now. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> she said, allow me. Mother voice. Do not say I'm craving some Baja Blast now. This is fucked up, guys. I don't think she's actually dead. Probably just a dream. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good. I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th's safety and warn them. They're all in danger. Anybody who's involved in this right now is in danger. I'll leave him to you, Miss Acheron. And this is where the red herring comes into play, everybody. We think that Himiko is supposed to be set up for like some kind of death. It's a prediction. You know, but imagine somebody like March or, or well, has a bad ending. I don't know if the fireflies is I'm real. I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. She's not dead though, right? It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. Oh, that's real. Oh, it's real. Oh, she's gone. It seemed very calm for seeing somebody who just exploded in front of us. That's crazy. You didn't draw your blade. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to make you feel worse about it. I'm just very upset. Sorry, I... I had no choice. She didn't have a choice either. I understand your anger, and I will accept it. But this isn't the time. We should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding. Was that an actual death in Honkai Star Rail? Of like a regular nice character? Do not let pain. I mean, other continue, I guess, but like. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. That was a gruesome death. Once someone said to me, No compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. I do not. I don't know what's happening. She just blew up. Help me. And then the family? With the one family swing of your blade. Duke Inferno. You must understand its meaning and the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you. From someone burdened with a blood debt. I'm back. Yay, Sakura line from Honkai Impact 3rd. That's what Honkai Impact 3rd line, what she just said. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. What? There's good news. God, I gotta play through the series. News. Tell me she's alive. Hands over a memory bubble. <clears throat> Signaling for you to press it against your forehead. You do as you're instructed. A bone chilling coldness pierces over your body and then consolidates into a clear image. Himiko and March 7th together, obstructed by the family. Black Swan stands beside them unnoticed by the family. I understand the situation now. Please take him and retreat to a safe location. If time allows, you can investigate Firefly's matter first. The lore be lowering. Later at Clocky Statue. Memories in the bubble come to an end here. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. I want to find the word. Let us reach a safe place before speaking again. Fine is not Ms. the Black word. Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? Mm, I don't recommend that. His <laughs> mental state is unstable. Yeah, no, no. So we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. Also, while we're departing, God, we can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. This is so depressing. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I, um, I have some unfinished business. What are you after, bro? You watch as Akron turns away. You remember that it was there that she dissolved into a mere illusion. You see her pause, lips pursed, eyes downcast, 
After a moment, she hunches down, as if gathering something with her hands, and rises again. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Damn. Guiding you back to the waking world. <sighs> oh my god. Let's go. This way. Follow me. I actually have like slight tears in my eyes. That is so incredibly sad out of nowhere. This character we just came to love so fast. Fucking ripped out of our game. <laughs> Shit. Bro, how can I continue on now? Dude, that's so sad. Ugh. The music is what makes me so sad. I don't want to fight you right now. I'm not in a good mood. Stop. Why is it getting hot in the memoria? Just take a button off. These are all charred remains. They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. Oh, it's gonna be Duke Inferno. I suppose we can slow down for now then. It's gonna be Duke Inferno I'm telling you right now. The remains of this creature bears narrow, deep incisions with evident traces of charring inflicted by intense burning. A few sparkles dance and flick within, resembling shattered stars departing towards nihility. Aeon of nihility. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. It's gonna be Duke Inferno. It's gonna be him. They're all just burning remembrances. A stark contrast to this deep sea. Charred up, bro. We eating good tonight. Holy. Well done, steak. Pierced by an unknown weapon, reveal inner tissues that have been seemingly evaporated rapidly due to the intense heat. I can't even get closer because it's too hot. It looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Monka. Careful. These traces are fresh. Our unsought guest isn't far away. Yet, as your hand grazes it, the searing heat transferred to your fingertips sends you jolting back. As is struck by an electric shock. Without a doubt, a fierce inferno rages with deep within, within the remains, desperately longing to break free from its confines. For the sake of your safety, it is best to keep Something's distance. off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... The remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. It's me! Oh. The method was clean and crisp. All one strike kills. <laughs> Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. He entered through the door from the lobby and he... went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened mm. here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Okay, let me get some tranquility first. Okay. Let's go left. Look, upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not be alert careful. the meme. Sorry, my brain is so degenerate that I can't focus. This is truly a magnificent sight. It's this room then? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. What is? Exactly what it means. Down. You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers. 
but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See Just the chandelier? It. Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Let's make it fall down. Oh, seven chandelier. Look, a solitary chain. It. Go say hello to it. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. All those bubbles. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice soft landing. Okay. Here we go. Geronimo! I landed safely. Can this we even jump? Amazing. How do we get here? Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. <laughs> well. Salty dream bubbles, tasty. Wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Oh boy. Jump scare. I didn't realize they were here. All right, we'll do it again. GG, is that it? Easy peasy. Boom. Boom. No sweat. All right, No next. one will disturb us now. Here, how about I Whoa. show you a little magic trick? Huh? Let's Are you go. ready? Don't be too surprised. Okay, okay. Is that Firefly? What? Yes. It's what this room left uh. behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. Keep showing us her. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Need a massage or something? I encountered with my trailblazer friend back then. If I'm not wrong, it has to do with the watchmaker. She mentioned your name. Me. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. Bro, we just met today, but damn, I love her. She's so sweet. And she's dead. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Ugh. Moments before death. That's like taking the knife and twisting it. You're right. It's so, so sad. Oh my God, there's memories everywhere. Calm down, Firefly. Stay calm. It's crazy. She seems very nervous. Yes. What is making her so nervous? Maybe killing her wasn't an accident or like some type of freak event. It was planned. It was targeted because she knew too much. She's obviously working with somebody or something to be a threat. If I can try again. She stares at the screens. Is she looking at herself in the mirror? What does she mean by try again? Mm. Let's get going. Let's? Is there someone else? Someone else? With all this in mind, Firefly and her companion, there should only be one, have entered this corridor together. Someone else? You're talking to another man? Why did you... This isn't what we agreed on! The situation has changed, and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan. Swear to God, this is Sam. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. Our Duke Inferno. Duke Inferno probably promised her the world and fucked with her. Mecca. Sam! Why? Sam! Who forced her to go that way? And Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal, a tall male in silver armor. He was supposed to be chill, man. Who done it? By the way, the name of the quest is Who Done It? <laughs> the door. They both open. It's a dead end. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway. 
and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. I'm not a Sam fan anymore. Why? He was the coolest looking one to me at first. She mentioned that this transaction involves the watchmaker. And that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? So far. This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless there's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should Sam's I say, ruthless. is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. Meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. An exit. Following this path should lead me out of this place. Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. <sighs> she didn't even know. She thought she was free. Finally back in the lobby. Oh. If that's the case. Why have you done this to me, Hoya? She thought she had escaped, but. This is so dark for Hoyoverse. It's so that, dark, right? It's the end. Everyone. It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Samuel! Stellaron Hunter Sam. You did fucking not! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Careful. <laughs> Oh my god! Jealousy Ranger and a memo keeper. <laughs> Leave now and nobody gets hurt. Or else this soundtrack. Only you die here. Okay, wait, this is kind of hype. Sam looks kind of cool. The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Damn, Sam. No Green eggs and ham, Customers Sam, I am. Always... Dude, he is so cool. What does he do exactly? What's his abilities? Supernova overload, fiery events, heavenly fire, molten core. If you love mechas, you gotta love Sam. Look Search. how everything's gold and burning over here. Look at this. Even the skill points are burning. <laughs> Rise! No. Awaken, dormant skin. World cleansing dragon. The environment has changed completely. <laughs> is that a bad thing, by the way? No. A thousand wonders. <laughs> Fight is one. Using the points burn me. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Okay, he's kind of cooking on the lines. Oh my yes. God. Let's be friends. Uh, uh, uh. Da, 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 da. You should kill him, I think, right? Rise. No, one more round. Oh, one HP. If that's the case, he's got one health. We did it. We did it. Look at this cutscene, man. Leave the dance stage uh. to them, my dear. You're gonna kick, you kicked me out? <laughs> I wanna see that. Oh, hello. What a show. We got Mr. Poker Pants out here. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. What was that? Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. I was watching that. She turned the channel. When I first saw the Ranger and the Hunter together, my so heart fun. skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. We got poker pants on here. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. No, no. I spent twenty dollars on you today. I spent twenty dollars. I spent twenty dollars. You are beautiful, but damn, bitch, you played me. No. <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. 
No, I got it, poker pants. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. <sighs> not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From that galaxy ranger. Akron would never hurt me either. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that <laughs> shocked expression of yours. I love how I just believe that no hot women would ever hurt me. <laughs> I'm like, they're hot and they're a woman. They wouldn't hurt me. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who huh. brings death and finality. Huh. She has her peculiarities, but no way. Acheron was right. Right there at the scene. It couldn't have been her. Uh. She was there? Wait, what? <coughs> You're kidding. Oh my. This just got even more interesting. You didn't know? Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? I thought we were gonna see him today. Did I fight him before? Am I lying? Nicely done. As expected. Did I? I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire Ratio demon quest. from Fatora. I saw him, I didn't think I fought him. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame My memory that bad. and viewed Nanook as their savior. Oh, but not in turn base. So. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, oh, practicing that's right, that's the will right. of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. He was like the small flame. We like made smaller and smaller. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? <laughs> they harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. What? What? What happened? As I expected. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Really? Thereafter, a mysterious galaxy ranger arrived on Panacone. They killed Checking into the hotel with only fireman? a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? It was Aqua. She's the goat. The galaxy rangers come and go like She's shadows, strong. and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. The Galaxy Rangers on top of everything. She remains silent. There's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Don't let you be distracted from the fact that Firefly is dead. Or... This is so fucked. You can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panacone. You got a ball sack on your chest, bro. I need your help. So I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning okay. with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon. Oh, what the fuck's I, happening? Can I really believe Aventurine? <laughs> but he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. 
Black Swan, you, you, you brought me here as a part of a job. You're telling me you don't actually love me, but I still love you. My, my, you look like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Yes. Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. <laughs> in my fucking head. You're in my head, you betrayed me. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. This is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, I hurt. that includes me. I'm gonna call my therapist after I this. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. I'm hurt, bro. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential, and that's not a lie. Okay, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, <laughs> I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. You could betray me a thousand times. I'd still trust you on the thousand first. Can you trust Adventure Rain though? My take on this might surprise you. I think so. He strikes me as an actually, like he's a, like a trustworthy type of person. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Agree, agree. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. Sir, stand up for yourself. I can't stand up right now. But always be on guard, particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. Because he's desperate for freedom, I can tell. Who's the mastermind, though? I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything, everything. from us. I don't know who to trust anymore. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. <laughs> With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, during this golden soiree, soiree. she is the dance's centerpiece. Are you willing to bring me out of this memory zone? Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused and sad. Yeah, because somebody just died, Firefly. Whoever that girl might have been, a living soul, a memory that was meant to last, mm. she simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. Starrell gives me something to be happy about in a person. Starrell kills that person. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. You know what's crazy is that like at the end of the sentence, this whole thing, I started with a lot of anger for her betraying me. I fully trust her again. Put the rope around me, pull me back in. I will protect you. See? Once I, I gather trust her. more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. I just trust her. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. I went in there to confront her about her wrongdoings. Which is the right choice. And now I'm with her again. You're right, let's go. <laughs> You're right, Later, let's go. Later, I'll stay by your side as a memetic entity, <laughs> just in case. Uh, Time to set off. Okay, I love you. Great. I knew you would come. By the way, about that what? memo keeper. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I swear to God, he says that line like that on purpose. It's the second time he said that kind of line on I've purpose. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. 
I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends... Friends? Don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will. Okay. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? The last time we met was right here. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. And oh, the room. I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. What is he cooking? Look, friend. He says friend so much. The game yeah. has already begun. I'm satisfying. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. I'm listening. <laughs> huh? Huh? No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. They got Robin too? What did she do wrong? Oh, you got my girl and my girl's favorite artist. What the fuck to be continued? You can't just kill somebody like that at the end of a quest and say to be continued. That's like killing somebody and saying to be continued. What do you mean? You bastard. I know you're doing some dirty shit. You look all happy and put together in like a rich family, but you're doing some weird shit. Brother, I'm back. Here's the theory. She is the robot version of the dead version. That was in my bathtub. Welcome back. Yeah. How was your it. preparation for the performance coming? That's it. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> no, no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. She's just like a tool for him. Status. I... No. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Is this the real her? Yes. I received the report that death had taken some of them <laughs> perhaps someone was behind it death i'm sorry i forgot you just came back you probably wouldn't know about it somehow a nightmare called death has descended upon panacone striking Meme. indiscriminately bringing spiritual death to all equally in the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise it profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was someone killed again? Again? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway. Uh, the other... was you. What the fuck is happening? What? That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Oh, 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 sparkle. Pretty oh, sharp, aren't you? Got Chicken it. Chicken wing boy. <laughs> She's such a bitch. <laughs> but I love her. Harmony talks about honesty. I call it. The words it. of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? Why so serious? She's the Joker, bro. I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Bro, I don't even get to really get to know her. Or she died. Really? Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, 
I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. It's hard to know who the villain is. Wow, you can endure that much? <gasps> Truly a heart of ice you've got there. She's so passive aggressive. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. <gasps> How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. Ah, oh, dear God. She's putting the him in a bad family spot. has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. Damn. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> Such a good look. God, I hate her, but I love her. I don't know how to explain it. There's no need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Funeral. Watchmaker. God, I am mind blown at this quest. This Trailblaze quest was the best, and it's not even remotely close. This whole thing was in its own different space of how interesting it is. Go to the edge and TP to the top left on the boss. All right, we're back. What do I do? <laughs> Get out the way, Acheron. Get out the way, Robin. Get out the way, Sparkle. She's my queen. Best girl, bro. Actually best girl. I didn't think she was going to be that significant. And then she just turned into being so cool. I was really won over by her when we were taking the photo. It just all stripped away from me, bro. Nothing to say, but absolute praise for this one. If you've watched along on YouTube to this point, let me know your thoughts down below. Twitch say bye to YouTube. YouTube say goodbye to Twitch. Great stuff. Mind blown by the mystery. I'm on edge. Big cliffhanger. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.